all right hello everyone and peace of the lord again to all of you please invite your friends we just started a new podcast for today uh, one of you asked me before uh, to talk about the shia and he said each time he speak to the shia uh, he mentioned some hadith they say to him well this is sunni we don't believe in the sunni hadith so uh, you know he said can we talk about the shia so let us see what the shia teach the first thing I notice about when, uh, when especially when Sunni they speak about the Shia, as an example here, in the screen in front of us, there's an article. It's called "Ridiculous Shia Hadith," and this is supposed to be Muslim speaking. Uh, it says here, from Muhammad and Ahmad, from 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 from. It says, they ask, they ask narrated by Ahmad blah 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 from uh, Ibn uh, Talib from uh, blah 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 they ask him about the earth and what it is it lies upon it been respond upon the wheel and he said that the wheel is being respond or he swim responded swim in the water and he asked and what water it being said, responded, placed on a on on a mountain, and he asked, and what that mountain? It being respond, placed in a straight bull ho, bull horn. He asked, and what is the bull? It being responded, stand on the sand. He asked, and what that sand? It was responded, that this idea is being lost among ulama which means we do not know an answer for it so here the muslim sunni they are making fun of the shia saying how in the world you believe in this garbage i mean what ball what wheel what horn of a ball but the ignorant they forgot that this is something in the in the muslim books too you see this is why there is a problem you know the Muslims they don't know what is in their books so they make fun they make fun of you they make fun of Shia Shia make fun of Sunni for very simple reason all of them they are ignorant they do not know what is in their books the exact statement you see here in the book of Shia this is in the Sunni books too who said to you that the Sunni don't believe in the same garbage who is the one say to you that your Sunni, you don't have the same teaching. If we go to the chapter of noon, we will find the same. So the first thing you notice about uh, the Sunni uh, Shia argument, each one of them, he throw rocks at each other because both of them, they are ignorant about the each other. And they remind me actually of Christians too. Christians, uh, Catholic and Protestant, they throw rocks at each other because both of them are ignorant about what Catholic is about and what Protestant is about. And if you are deceived by a priest, then you throw rocks at your brother in Christ. Those are the kingdom of the devil divided. You are divided for what reason? Because you follow a priest. Ignorance is a problem. When somebody do not have a knowledge, and he decide to teach you what you expect from your from this person to teach you what exactly outcome of such a teacher i guarantee you nothing but stupid If we go to Tafsir al Quran, let us do that. And we go to chapter 50. And we try to understand. 
actually let us go to chapter not Qaf let us go to chapter noon this is chapter Qaf <coughs> We will find the story is exactly the same as here. I don't know what why the the website froze. Here we go. Finally, we go to. Let us go to. Every chapter in the Quran have a fiction story and have a stupid story and all, always we learn something funny and something stupid uh, Let us see where we can find some reference about that. We have a chapter of noon uh, Well Quran uh, you know, let us go to first uh, Let us go to 68 You see the Shia, the Sunni, they were making fun of the Shia, right? And they were saying ridiculous Shia hadith about the whale carrying the earth and the ball and etc. This is not Shia, this is Sunni now. We are in the Sunni garden of hadith. So they can say this is Shia stupid thing. And as long the Muslim Sunni agree that the Shia have a stupid story like that, as we saw you showed you in the in the other page, if you remember. Then they have to agree that the same stupid story exists in their Quran and both of them Shia and Sunni agree about this And from his narration the authority of Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad and he said Regarding the invitation of Allah saying noon, noon he says Allah swear by the noon which is the wheel that carry the earth on its back while in the water and beneath which is the ball and under the ball is the rock and under the rock is a dust and none knows what is under the dust of Allah. This is in total agreement with the hadith of the Shia. When they ask him about the sand, this is a translation. They ask him about the dust. What is under the dust? They said, we do not know. If we go here to the Shia hadith, read with me carefully. Narrated, narrated, okay. They ask him about the earth, what it lies upon. It being responded, which means the answer is upon the whale. And he asked, What is the whale? He says, It's responded, It's swim in the water. He asked, And what water? He said, It's uh, 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 it is on the mountain. And uh, uh, he asked, What mountain? He said, Responded, The place is straight uh, bull, bull horn. The mountain is a, is a bull, bull horn. <laughs> and then he asked, what, the, what, uh, what is that bull? It was responded, The stand on the sand. He asked, what is the sand? He says, nobody knows. Exactly the same story here. They stop with the stand and says, we do not know what is behind the, the, the sand. So when the Sunni laugh at the Shia is the same as a camel laughing at his brother back and who is a camel like him. He, he laughed at him and says, look at your back. <laughs> your back have something big in the top of it. Look funny, look stupid. <laughs> but you do not know that he is a camel too. And he have the same back. All right. So as long the Shia and the Sunni agree that this is ridiculous, well, Islam is ridiculous then, because this is Quran, and this is interpretation of the cousin of Muhammad, who Muhammad said that Allah He pray Muhammad He pray for this man to be the person who can give interpretation for the Quran. Right. Otherwise, Muslims they have to admit that Muhammad the prayer did not work. Why Muhammad he prayed that Allah may Allah make this man Habrul Habrul Ummah, which means he is the ink of a scholarship. He is the one who is going to explain the Quran. And then here the story continue, and showing us that Islam is nothing but fictions. The name of the whale is Lewish. This is not Lewish Farrakhan. This is different Lewish. Lewish Farrakhan is different whale. And it said that the name of the, uh, uh, the its name is 
Lotaya, and the name of the ball is Bahamut, and some they say it is uh, Terahut or Leona. The whale is in the sea, it's called Adwad, and it's like a small ball in a huge sea. The sea is in a Hollywood rock where whereby there is 4,000 cracks, and from each crack, water spring come out from the earth. It's also said that the noon is was one of the name of the Lord. Here we go. We start with noon as the name of a whale, and we ended that the noon it might be one of the names of Allah. So the Shia and the Sunni they are laughing at each other, but both of them they have a lot of madness. Now let us go to some Sunni Shia. As long today we decide to speak about Shia. Uh, what will happen? Let us uh, see some hadith. We cannot show everybody. I mean everything stupid. Uh, you know we will select some of stupid things. Actually, I can't find something smart to show anyway, you know. Uh, let us see this hadith. I'm trying to find something in English. Mm, Looks like we will have difficulty. All right, this is the book of Biharul Anwar, value number 55, page number 34. Speaking about an angel, and this angel is very special. It's reported from Jafar ibn Muhammad and Abi, from his grandfather, peace upon him, that he said, that in the throne of Allah, there is a statues of what Allah He created on the earth or in the sea. And this is the explanation where Allah He says, from everything we have a copy of it. And He's right. I mean, this is stupid in the Quran. How in the Quran we say, from everything we created, we have a copy of it. So the Muslims they are trying, those are the Shia, trying to, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, trying to understand how Allah says such a thing. There's nothing, this is in chapter 15, verse number 21, there's nothing we created, but we have a likeness of it. Let us go to the Quran. So you will notice that the Shia and the Sunni, both of them, they come with the stupid things because the Quran itself is very confusing and very stupid. How Allah, he says, nothing we created except we have a copy of it within us. But is it treasures or with us? There's nothing we created, nothing of what you have, but we have the like, you know, here we have, a, um, Allah, he have a warehouse. Of everything we have in earth, he have it in the warehouse, and he send it down <clears throat> when it's time. If you change the translator, you will see how the translation change. It's a miraculous. Let us go to uh, Yusuf Ali. And there's not a thing but its source and the treasure are with us. But we only send down, therefore, in do and measure, you know, like in, in the in desire. So 
the Quran claim that Allah he have a warehouse and from that warehouse Allah he sent down in measure what we have and from everything we have he have the same there now we go and we see what the Shia is saying in their hadith <clears throat> it says and uh, and this is the explanation of chapter 15 verse number 21 as they are quoting the verse for us without quoting the number and they says and between the list uh, and between the the one of the legs of the throne of Allah and the other legs of the throne of Allah uh, there is a distance of the bird to fly which is 1000 year and the throne of Allah is going to be covered every day by 70,000 light made of color no one can see it from those who Allah he created and all those things is created in the throne are in a circle which is in a space like in the sky and Allah and for Allah he have an angel his name is Khurqail. Khurqail. He have 18,000 wings. And between every wing and the other wing is 500 years distance. And one day he thought of a thought. He said to himself, If there is something upon the throne, if there is something, the angel himself is asking me, who, who is upon the throne? Who is upon? He cannot see it, you know. And because of that, Allah increased the number of his wings to double, which means now 18 plus 18. So, so Allah, he made, because he thought he was over the throne, Allah, he increased the size of his wings and he made them 36,000 wing. Between the wing and the other one is 500 years. And then Allah inspired the angel and he told him, this angel, his name is Khurqail. Oh angel, fly. And then the angel, he fly. In the distance of, of 20,000 years. And he did not arrive to the head of the, uh, like the leg of the, of the chair, what do you call it? Like you have, you know, you have four legs, right, for the chair. So, Allah he told him fly the the, the angel he is he's wondering what is above the throne so Allah increase him by the number of wings that will make him go supposedly fly faster so he gave him instead of 18,000 he doubled it he make it 36,000 and then he Allah he told the angels fly to see fly up so the angel start flying and then after 20 years of flying he did not arrive to the top of the leg and then Allah increased the size of his uh, 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 his wings and the size of his strength. Next page. <clears throat> and then he ordered him, and he did the fly again for thirty thousand years, and he did not arrive anywhere after thirty thousand years of flying. So Allah inspired him, says to him, "If you fly." And the trumpet is going to be uh, playing with your wings and your strength. You did not even arrive to the leg of my uh, my throne. And then the angel he gave up. He says, "Praise be to Allah." Uh, you know, like he he gave up. The angel he gave up. That's it. All right. And then here, actually, <clears throat> uh, the Muslim Sunni they make fun of this hadith. But the same hadith is exist in the Shia in the in the Sunni. Uh, this is this is Shia book, right? But the same hadith is exist for the Sunni. Actually, this is in the Quran. If we go in the Quran, if because here it says that call a Jazrawi a Jazri uh, that there is eight angels or there there is uh, eight uh, uh, goats carrying the throne of Allah. All right, and the Quran says, "ويحمل عرش ربك فوقهم يوم إذن ثمانية." And the Quran says. That in that day, eight will carry 
the throne of Allah. But this is in the Quran anyway. I mean, this is not only Shia or Sunni. And if we read the interpretation, we will find the same story. In the Muslim uh, translation, they say, and the angels will be on the side or, and eight. Okay, well, it doesn't say, it doesn't say uh, what what kind of angels they are here. But if we go and read the interpretation, we will see it says that they are goats, eight goats, you know. Uh, let us go and see in the Hadith. And now we are going to the Sunni. Because as long as the Muslim Shia, the Sunni is making fun of the Shia. Here we go. As you see, this is Sunni too. So you notice in Muslim websites for the Sunni, they make fun of the Shia because, and by the way, the one who made those articles making fun of the Shia, they are sheikhs. The, the Sunni who is making articles about the Shia, they are funny, stupid, they believe in such a garbage. They are sheikh. So they are what kind of sheikh they are? They are shaky one. They don't know that this is Sunni too. Here we go. This is Sunni hadith. Muhammad, he says, he look at the sky and he said, do you see what is that? What is that called? They said, we do not know. He said, Al-Muzan. And they said to him, okay, what is Al-Muzan? He said, Muhammad, he make up a word, by the way. He, he make he make them up. This guy, he fabricate. Like, you know, uh, let, let us say you are working with me, and I say to you, do you know what is that? Just, he tried to, like, to, uh, like, uh, to show off that he knew. So he fabricate words. Nobody heard of it before. So he said, do you see what is that? They said, what is that? Do you know what they call? They said, what? what? They said, al-Muzan. Okay, what Muzan? And what is Muzan? He said, al-Anan. Okay, what Al-Anan? <laughs> and here Muhammad, he started giving his own fabrication of words he created just in a second ago. He said, Anan, Abu Dawood says, I am not quite confident about word Anan. He said, I ask, do you know the distance between the heaven and the earth? They replied, we do not know. He said the distance between them is 71, 72, 73 years. The heaven which is above it is at a similar distance. Okay. And then he says, above the seven heavens, there is a sea. The distance between whose uh, surface and the bottom is, or the bottom is, like the between the one and the heaven and the other, which means the same as the previous one. And then he says, and above there, above that, there is eight mountain goats. The distance between their hoofs is and bunches is a like of a distance between the heaven and the next. And then Allah, the blessed, is above them. So the Shia, the Sunni, they are making fun of the Shia, saying that Allah in the top of eight goats. But your Prophet Muhammad, your Sunni, he's saying the same. Do you see it? So they make fun of each other, but the fact they have the same garbage, you know, Shia and Sunni, it is two faces of one coin. And the Quran confirm. So those angels in the Quran are not really angels, are goats. Or let us say they are angels in the form of goats. So why you Muslim you say Santa Claus is fake? Hmm? And by the way, Santa Claus is not fake. He's a real person. Absolutely he is. Like for sure, people, they um, added like fiction stories. He come from the chimney for kids. But is Santa Claus is a real person? Yes, he is. He is a real person. He is existing in history. 
as a person who will be known by his first name, last name, where he lived, what town, even his house. So they make fun, the Sunni, they make fun of the Shia, and the Shia, they make fun of the Sunni, but at the end of the day, both of them, they share the same stupid stories. Let us show another example. All right. The Muslim Sunni, they make fun of a hadith. And again, we are mentioning the, the, the reference one by one. The book of Al-Kafi, this is a Shia book, a Shaykh al Kilani, a very number one, page number 388, as we see in the screen. All right? Now, what this hadith here is speaking of? That when somebody uh, from from the family of Muhammad is born, how people who they are from the family of Muhammad are born? They are born in a certain way. They are different from anyone. As an example, all the family of Muhammad when they are born, they are circumcised by Allah already. So they, when they are born, they don't do circumcision. All right, let us read together. <clears throat> when his when his mother she gave birth to him, she gave birth to him and he was sitting, and his eyes open, and he did not came out and his legs crossing each other, or he turned back after he fell down in the ground, and he never missed the direction of Mecca. The, the child, the baby, he's an infant, he's just born, okay? He like he's he he's born, he came down from his mother, he sat in his ass right away. Okay, he never missed the direction of of uh, of uh, the Kaaba, and he used to sneeze three times. And each time he sneezed, he point his finger up, saying "Thank you, Allah," and he is so happy. <laughs> so you know that's the that's true. Three times a day, a Trinity. And he was circumcised, uh, and his ass, uh, uh, no, I think here they are speaking about his penis, the, 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 the head of his penis. Look, uh, is different. Yeah, I don't know how to, how to translate this one. So he was, he was, uh, he, he, he was circumcised and then in the top of that his ass uh, well, actually no I think here they mean by Ruba Yeto I think they are talking about uh, his teeth oh hold on yeah so he was born circumcised and his teeth from the top to down and I do not know what they mean. I mean, uh, he, like his his uh, his front teeth are different from others. Like he, they are coming from the top to down. It's not like others from down to the top. I don't know what does that mean. I, we need the we need a Shia Sheikh to explain to us what does that mean. Uh, uh, and when he uh, he smile, the two what they call them in English those uh, the two teeth which is like the same as a tiger. You know, tiger have like a, or a cat have like a long uh, in the front like for us as a human we have them short like a dracula you know what i mean so those are when he when he smile it's the same as a, a, a as a um and like ounce of gold okay same as ounce of gold light coming from it in the day and the night uh and during the night his hands leak gold during the night his hands leak gold uh, the same as the prophets when they are born they are born like this okay so now this is a Shia hadith let us see
from Ali ibn Muhammad from the some of the companion they said from Abi from 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 Abi Jafar Imam Abu Jafar he said the the 12 Imam have a sign all he will born will be born and he is circumcised and he failed if he fell down in the earth he fell in his ass and when he fell in his ass he right away he say shahada that there's no God but Allah and there's no prophet but Muhammad and he he will never get dirty from orgasm which means he will have orgasm but he will not need to do evolution his eyes sleep but his heart never sleep he never do yawning and he never do stretching like for his body and he can see what is behind him same time he can see what is in front of him and his fart is the same as musk as a smell and the same as uh, you know his and the and the ground you know eat his poo, poo but isn't it, this is what the hadith in the sunni it says that the prophet when he do poo, -poo the earth swallow the poop of the prophet and his ass and his uh, and his poop and his uh, his piss smells so good let us see I need to turn the light on Here you notice that the, the, the Sunni and the Shia, they are making fun of each other, but they have the same garbage. I mean, it's just exactly the same. Uh, let us find the Hadith, the Sunni Hadith about that. And Muhammad himself, he was circumcised by Allah supposedly according to Muslims. So it's the same. Why you are laughing at the Shia? Let us see here. All right. This is the book of At-Tabaqatul Kubra for the Sunni. It says the following. At-Tabaqatul Kubra, Ibn Sa'ad, very number one, the biography of the Prophet, or the, uh, yeah, the prophethood. And this is page number 141, as you see in the screen. All right? It says, reported from Aisha, from um, um, uh, Umm Sa'ad, عن عائشة, she said, قلت, يا رسول الله, تأتي الخلاء فلا يرى منك شيء من الأذى. Oh, Messenger of Allah, you go out to do shit, but there's no shit left behind you. Are you, are you listening to Muslim Sunni? You are making fun of the Shia? Listen to this. Oh, Messenger of Allah, you come to do shit, and we see no shit left of you. He says to her, Oh, don't you know, O oh Aisha, that the ground is swallow what come from the uh, from from the from the prophet, and nobody can see anything of it. Do you see it? So they are making fun of the Shia. They have such a stupid hadith about that the Imam, the Mahdi, when he shit, the ground eat his shit, and he swallow his pee. But this is the same Muhammad he said that to Aisha. I mean, do you notice here the hypocrisy of both the group? They make fun of each other, saying this is stupid, and this has always happened because both are ignorant. They do not know. What is written in their own books? Let me see if I can find this hadith in English. I doubt it, but we will try. No. 
they will not translate such a thing yeah but as you see this is this is your Islamic web you know uh, book this is the book of at al Kubra, the Ibn Sa'd, volume number one, page number 144. And we are not making things up. So why you make fun of the Muslim Shia believing in such a garbage? And you Muslim Sunni, I challenge you to tell me, when Muhammad was circumcised, isn't it the Quran says Muhammad was, uh, uh, let us say, what? lead to the conclusion that he was circumcised and if we ask right now any Muslim when Muhammad was circumcised they have no answer all the Muslims they say there's all there's options mostly either Allah circumcised him or the angels but uh, they claim that he is circumcised but he never been circumcised I am going to open my Skype in a minute just to give a chance to the Muslim Abdul to call us if they are Shia or Sunni it doesn't matter as you see the same stupid stories exist in both uh, sect <coughs> but I have to admit <coughs> that the Shia they have like way beyond stupidity sometime I mean it's really so crazy all right. Let us see if we have any Sun, any Muslim trying to call us. Hello. Yes, my friend. Uh, good, uh, good, good afternoon, my friend. My can you is... can you mute uh, your YouTube? Yeah, yeah, I can. I can wait. Okay. Hello. Yes. Uh, my English is not so good. All right. Yes, my I have a question for you. All right. My my left feet is uh is broken. Mm -hmm. I cannot uh low, uh stay on my feet. Mm -hmm. Uh, one friend uh, say go go to uh, mosque, pray for Allah. Uh, other friends say to go to Christian. Uh, my, my question is for you: What what is the best uh, of God that I can, can uh, go? Oh, what best God? Yes, yes. But uh, another friend, give me mm. your, your Skype. Okay. And, uh, well, I I think you have to come to me, and then I will spank you, and then you will run like crazy. What do you think? You do not need God, my friend. You need somebody to spank you because you are being silly, and being stupid. What does this have to do with God? Stupid idiot. So if some if my if my leg is broken, I wait for God to fix it. Silly stupidity. I, I hope you will not get married one day because your children will suffer from stupidity. Imagine you have a you have a silly father like this. All right. I mean, these uh... <laughs> come to me. I will teach you how to run. Why somebody told you that God he opened a clinic to be and your nurse? What does that mean? I mean, how silly you are. What about somebody he cannot walk at all, or he's born like this? Which God is better to go to? Supposedly, this is an atheist uh, propaganda. And which, uh, and you as an atheist, what do you do? What What is the solution for this now? Okay, you don't believe in God, no problem. The God of the Christian, the God of the Jews, the God of the Hindus cannot help you. What you do? You go to the doctor, right? And then the doctor, he will fix your leg. Uh, doctors, they die every day. Me, myself, I go to doctors only if I know that it is like, that's it. There's nothing I can do. My body cannot resist something happening. But 
my experience with doctors they are not really doctors they train on you you are like a mice for them you go and he give you uh, uh, a medicine he says try this come to me after a few days and they say to you come to me after a few days because they want to charge you more not because really you need to come and then you come after a few days and you say oh, I now I feel like I'm getting dizzy he says oh don't worry now be, this is because of the drugs okay so the drugs you gave me will make me sick in something else so he gave me a drug will supposedly fix the first problem but now we have another problem if you watch any commercial about drugs in TV, they say to you that they speak fast. These drugs are going to cause heart problem, internal bleeding, blood, brain, brain. Please see your doctor before you buy it. You scared the hell of me. Why want to buy the drug? This is a disclaimer. So, like later, if something happened to you, so where is the drugs? There's no medicine these days. It's a lie. And there's no doctors these days. They try things on you. I I can say like doctors can help if you have an urgent surgery like you have something explode in your uh, You know what they call it. I mean I, I forgot what, what the name in English So there is like certain things they can do uh, somebody maybe heart problem. They can expand the uh, the vein where the blood is going uh, They can help but is really do we have real medicine? No, we don't Can doctors make hands for you? Or fake hands so why you're asking from God to do for you what you cannot do do okay do, do you not need God do it yourself God did not create us and says I'm going to open a clinic for you when you need something I'm going to grow a leg for you he never promised that Any Abdul? No, oh, only silly. Somebody says to me, uh, uh, "Please debate uh, Muhammad Hijab, my friend." You know what I can do? Go chase him. What debate, Muhammad? We offer him a debate. This guy is a kid. Don't tell me to please debate this guy and this guy. I'm here. I'm here every day. Here we go. My Skype is open and, and we made a challenge for him. They run away. So what do you mean debate this guy? Bring him. Can we chase people and say you have to debate me? We cannot force people to come and debate. Do we have any Muslim who like to call us? <clears throat> Uh, somebody he sent me a long message I don't know how I can read this Hello? Hello? Yes. Nasselson. Sorry? Nasselson Abbey. Your what? Nasselson Chochachalnarum Darande. Really? How this happen? Oh, sorry. Um, I thought you were Turkish. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, the only Turkish I know is Aman Rabbi Aman. Yeah, what do, no, you, the, what do you want the, to say the, to the, us? The, so you are a, so you are a Muslim, right? So you are a Muslim, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. What do you want to say to us? Look, I'm um, my friend told me to call you. <clears throat> uh, I had this problem for like two days now. Hmm. And this problem has been bothering me for two days. Okay, and what is and the problem? 
It is. Jig jig. Stupidity. Let us see this guy. You know, people, they send me messages. I keep saying, don't send me hello. Don't add me and say hello. <clears throat> My friend, I'm not here to say hello and hi. Um, okay, but I am. That I can. Okay, of course. Okay. Well. Okay. It's hard to answer everybody. Look like somebody, some someday I'm going to quit this uh, Skype because it became. If you see guys my page here, I have endless messages to read. We keep saying, please, only Muslims. Okay. Let us see. Don't send me messages saying I would like to add you to my Skype. My friend, why you want to add me to Skype? What for? If you are a Christian, don't add me to Skype. Please. I mean, unless you are bringing me somebody to debate me, a shake, something, something. I mean, why you want to add me to Skype? Skype? Uh, Ali. Okay. Endless, I mean, endless messages. I'm trying to find one Muslim, or what I see, the Christians adding me. Yes? Hello, Christian Prince. Uh, how are you, brother? I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I have a question. Uh, uh, I asked the Muslim hmm. to explain to me uh, where Allah said in the Quran that he created uh, the earth and heaven with saying, uh, you know, kun fayakun, mm -hmm. be and there is, mm -hmm. but uh, like uh, he failed, you know, he don't, he cannot uh, show me. Yeah, because there's nothing Allah created by saying kun and kun. You know, it's just a statement He said when He mentioned about that uh, the creation of uh, the existence of Jesus and Adam is the same. If Allah wants something to be, He says be, and it was right. But neither Adam, mm -hmm. neither Jesus was exist by being according to the Quran. So this is a contradiction and stupid statement. The only God we know, He said be, and it was, is the Bible. If you go to Genesis, it says let be light. It was light. Mm -hmm. Right. That's it. So this so, is. Uh, but uh, in the Quran or in Hadith, I think it says that Allah created with the uh, hand, with His hand. Uh, the Quran right? says that. The Quran says that. But 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 this is not a problem because we can say in a verse that Allah created by hand. In the other other verse, you know, Allah created the say uh, maybe something, anything. He said let be it was. But it, there is even that there is nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, because in the same uh, verse. Where he says he created the, the earth and the heaven, it's like after that he said uh, kun fayakun. It's not he don't say no. The, the creation of the earth and the heaven is clear. And heaven with it saying took him two kun days, fayakun. two days to create the earth, four days to create the substance, two other days to create the sky, and nowhere there he says be to anything, because be and it was <coughs> is making things happen immediately. Be that's it. You know why it's going to take uh, the days as an, as an example like in the that, bible yeah. it says be light let be light light was and then we call the daylight and we call the night so so uh, there is nowhere in the quran this is a mistake of muhammad you know trying to uh, uh copy uh, the description of the god of the christians and make it mm -hmm. uh, apply to his god but you know he could not find us where that can happen same time, Jibri, sorry, uh, Adam was created by fashion mud, and then he, after he fashioned him, he breathed into him, etc. 
it took time to the point even the hadith says that uh, uh, Jibreel when Allah he created him uh, and he breathed into he him say when you are uh, will finish me yeah he said finish me before the sunset you know so it's, it's very slow mm -hmm. so he fashioned mud he make mud first and then he fashioned from the mud a creature look in the shape of a human like an idol and then he breathed into the idol which is in the shape of Adam a human being and then this human being became a, in the flesh alive but it doesn't happen by saying be you know mm -hmm. yeah anything else my friend yeah that's uh, that's everything thank All you right. brother thank you take care okay, let's try to receive phone call phone of uh, calls from Muslims please and when uh, this stupid uh, Gigi Gigi called, I don't want people to say Gigi Gigi. You know, this is why he's excited. His guys have a mental issue. He called, you see you going crazy, you say Gigi Gigi. So he get excited. He's like a, like a, I don't mean, use a bad word, but he like it, you know. So don't encourage the stupidity. Filthy creature. Do we have any Muslim? And this is why we have to be careful. Like a human being, uh, there's many people. They might they might look fine for you. They might look like uh, they have a, you know, uh, maybe if you see this guy in the street, you will not notice he have a mental issue. But obviously, he's suffering from a big mental issue. So you have to be careful in your life. You associate with who? Like when you take a friends, take them carefully. When you get married get married carefully uh, anything is a choice of a cho or like you can make like there's people you don't choose them to be relative to you like you don't choose who's going to be your brother or your sister or your father or your mother and you might be born of somebody you have a mental issue too I mean that is not your choice so you can do nothing about it but it's a choice to take a friend it's a choice to take a husband or a wife so always be careful about you are going to be associating yourself with who be careful those people they can be extremely dangerous to you know um, when you see that uh, somebody is stalking somebody this is a real this is not this is not uh, fiction you know there's some people they have mental issues they uh, they don't know even why they are doing that you know because they themselves they do not know he himself he do not know what he's doing you know, he's just a stupid idiot. He's, you know, he's looking for attention. So now he called the Christian prince, and he, 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 he and you know, supposedly now he is like, hey, hey, I'm so happy. He, you know, mental illness. So you have to be careful always. You associate yourself with who? Same as Muhammad. This is why I said to you once: watch a movie. It's called The Perfect Host. The Perfect Host is a story about a guy. Even he himself is a captain in the police. Which means there's no way you might think that this guy he have a mental issue. He's a captain in the police. But if you watch the movie, you will find that this person he have many person inside him. All right. So be careful. Now we continue speaking about as long there's no Muslims to call. I'm going to quit Skype. And we go back to the stupidity what's mentioned in the hadith of the Shia. Versus the stupidity of the hadith of the Sunni, all right. <clears throat> the Imam Al Mahdi, if he wear the clothes of the Prophet or any of the clothes of the family of the Prophet, is going to be changed and become in his size, even if it is one foot longer or shorter. Okay, what does that mean? I don't know if any of you watch uh, the Green Man, Hulk, whatever they call them. I mean, in TV, you see all those transformer, the green guy. Uh, I don't know what they call him. He he extend his shirt, extend. I mean, he he ripped his shirt and the shirt, and he became big. So this guy here, when he wear the clothes of any of the family of the prophet, the the clothes of the family of the prophet, including the prophet clothes. Their size is changed to fit with him. So if he is shorter than the prophet, the clothes will get smaller to fit him. If he is taller than the prophet, the clothes will get bigger to fit with him. 
and that is going to be the same until the last time of like uh, until until the end of the judgment day how Allah created the body the physical body of the uh, imma the the the, uh, uh, the 12 Imams of the Shia uh, what about their spirit what about their hearts may Allah uh, have peace on them it, they say that. <clears throat> that Allah he created us from high above and he created our spirit from above and he created the spirit of the Shia from above and he created the body from 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 uh, from lower lower level which mean the the Imams of the Shia their body their spirit uh, uh, everything about them is created from high above in the sky and then the Shia they are created the same but a lower level of the heaven they are not from the same level uh, and then they continue Allah he created us from the light of his greatness and he uh, picture us or let us say he made us in an image uh, from a mud which is stored underneath the throne Allah he have a store a storage of uh, mud under the throne of Allah and this is where he created the children's of Muhammad and as we know Muhammad have no children this is a fiction Muhammad supposed to have four daughters but the fact none of them is his daughter including Fatima those are the daughters of Khadija however so Ali is supposed to marry from Fatima and we see now the, because they think that Fatima is the only real daughter of Muhammad so the Shia they focus only in Fatima and Ali he married from Fatima and Ali is the cousin of Muhammad so now we have a family to worship we have Muhammad we have Fatima we have Ali and then we have their children so how Allah created this family created them from a mud exist and the throne of Allah and Allah he put a light in it let us move it to this different page here okay so Allah <clears throat> and Allah he put inside that uh, mud he created light from his light which means they themselves later they will become light for mankind and then he says and uh, when Allah he created them nobody have such uh, let us say structures of mud or nature of mud except the prophets and this is why we and them which mean we and the prophet this is the family of Muhammad we became and all the man all the human they are savage to the fire you know all a the human they go to save they are savage to the fire but not the family of Muhammad for they are made from a special mud and they are made from the light of Allah uh, and look here what it says <clears throat> it's reported from uh, the caliphate Amirul Mu'mineen that Allah in Allah uh, he Allah he have a river under his throne and next to the river uh, uh, which is under the throne there is the light and the light is light of Allah and the two edge of the river there is two spirit one is called the Holy Spirit and the other one is called a spirit from his command and Allah uh, uh, Allah have ten uh, a group of mud five from heaven and five from earth so Allah he have like a, a containers full of mud ten of them five containers are, are are coming from heaven and five containers are the source of them is from the earth all right um, and then he says and there's no prophet or angel after him 
he made him except from one of those two spirit either the Holy Spirit or the spirit of command and he made the Prophet peace be upon him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sorry Allah pray on him and salute him and his family from one of those two mud and I said to uh, uh, to my father al Hassan uh, and what is the mount which Allah created us uh, from he says Allah he created us from ten mount of mud and he breathed into us from the two spirit this is why we have the best spirit between mankind I mean if we we can keep reading all of it is stupidity fictions madness this is uh, this is the Shia but the Sunni are not better the Sunni have the same garbage you know isn't it the Quran says and if we read the interpretation we see the hadith we see that Muhammad claimed that Allah said that he is a light for mankind and this is why the Shia they say that Muhammad and his family they are made of light they are not a human like us why because the Quran confirmed that chapter 33 verse number 46 <clears throat> And as a lamp spreading light, who is saying that? Allah. About who? About Muhammad. So Muhammad, he is the same as a lamp spreading light, but the Quran describes Allah Himself as a lamp too. So Muhammad and Allah, they have the same nature. They are light. They are spreading light. And the Muslim, they might say to you here, it says as uh, as a lamp, but Allah, He says about Himself that He is as a lamp too. So it's the same for Muhammad, same as Allah. All right. Uh, <coughs> if we go in the Quran, chapter 24, verse number 20, uh, 35, which is a chapter of a light, and a nur, light, it says, God is the light of the heaven and the earth. The likeness of his light is as a niche, wherein as a lamp. See here saying as, as. Now here in this verse, we have a mistake. Anyone notice? Or let us say something would destroy the idea that Allah is God. Who, who can help me here to see what is the problem in this uh, verse? <coughs> Anyone notice? This verse here destroy Allah. Why? Because Allah is saying that He's light, right? But what is the similarity of His light? Light, His light is as a niche wherein is a lamp, and the lamp is in a glass, and the glass as it were a glittering star. Okay, by the way, it doesn't say star, it says coca, which means plant, which is a mistake. Kindled from the blessed tree, an olive that is neither the east nor the west, who is oil, will night with shine. Okay, so look at this. If Allah describe his light, the same as a light in a lamp, and that lamp is lighting by oil, how that can be? The Muslim, they say to us, we cannot describe and we cannot compare between Allah and His creation. But the whole Quran, Allah create compare between Him and His creation. Isn't it the tree? Is His creation? Isn't it the fire? His creation? Isn't it the oil? His creation? And here we will find the double standard of the Muslims to avoid to answer about who is Allah. Right away, they escape and they say, we cannot compare between Allah and His creation. But why you cannot compare if Allah Himself comparing Himself to His creation? That because they are trying to run away forward from the question. We cannot compare. That's it. They shut you up. Hmm? Now, 
Muhammad described the same as the same. He is a light, the same as a light. Read the other, uh, the other verse. It says exactly the same. Muhammad, as one who is invited to Allah by his leaves, and as a lamp spreading light. This is Muhammad, Allah, the same too. Allah is as a lamp spreading light. And this is why the Shia, they believe that Muhammad and his family, they used to be stars in the forehead of Allah. And then Allah decided to send them down to earth so they can spread the light of Allah. Right? Stories after stories. But you notice all those fiction stories is sponsored by the Quran and even the Hadith. Now we continue with the Shia uh, crazy stuff. Let us see what we will show you. <clears throat> Hmm. Okay. Let us see this hadith. See, always we try when we show we show uh, official website because we don't want people to say you know where he is getting this from let us see this hadith here okay this is the book it's called Wasail Shia Wasail al Shia by Al Hurru al Amili, al Shaykh Abu Jafar, volume number 12, page number 95. Speaking about sneezing, speaking about sneezing, uh, he said, by sneezing, there is a destiny. When you sneeze, there is a destiny written for you. So if they are liars, those who sneeze, they will not receive the intercession of the Prophet Muhammad, Allah pray on him and salute him. Hadith number, very number four, sorry, uh, uh, four, uh, hadith number 15734. It says, from, 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 he says, that when Abi Abdullah alayhi salam, when he sneezed, he put his hand on the top of his nose or over his nose. And he says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbul Alameen. Hamdan kathira. Praise be to Allah. A lot of a praise. The same as his family, they do that, which means they, when they sneeze, they do that. And Allah pray on, uh, 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 on Muhammad and, his, uh, and the family of Muhammad. And right away when he sneezed, from his nose, from from the left uh, hole of his nose, uh, his nose, uh, uh, a bird which is yellow. Sorry, a, a bird which is smaller than loctos come out, and bigger than a fly. And this is this bird. He fly all the way, and he like until he establish himself under the throne of Allah. He keep asking Allah for forgiveness until the judgment day. So each time the fa the family of Muhammad and Muhammad he sneezes, a little bird will come from the left hole of his nose, and they will sneeze. Sorry, they will go and they will uh, 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 
under the throne of Allah and they will keep asking Allah for forgiveness and the judgment day now here are the Shia the Sunni they make fun of the Shia uh, of the Shia for saying that let us see what this what the Sunni see uh, say about sneezing the same but little differences according to Muhammad the Sunni books Allah he loved those who sneeze read carefully with me the messenger of Allah said the sneeze is from Allah the sneeze is from Allah okay so each time you sneeze your sneezing is coming from Allah as simple as that and the yawning is from shaitan be careful with me the messenger of Allah said the sneeze is from Allah and the yawn is from shaitan so one of you yawn let him cover his mouth with his hand for when he says ah ah hachu Shaitan love from inside his mouth. <laughs> you see, the Sunni they laugh at the Shia, and the Shia they say the Shia they have ridiculous hadith. But in fact, both of them they have the same garbage. The Muslims, by the way, they made an article about this hadith, but they, they cut the second part of it. They, they, they look look what they, they do you can search it to yourself in Google you will find they say to you that the Prophet said when one of you he yawn look look at this look at the deception they said the Prophet said when one of you sneeze or yawn let him cover his mouth so they cover they they hide all the story about shaitan going inside your mouth to tell you that the Prophet was teaching science and hygiene and how not to stop and to, to stop the spreading of bacteria? You see how they lie to you? They make it about medicine. How the prophet he knew this? Do you notice how they do that? <clears throat> the prophet teaching hygiene. How how a prophet fourteen hundred years ago he knew that we should cover our mouth, otherwise that will spread bacteria and viruses. This is what they say. But in fact, the story have nothing to do with bacteria and viruses. The story is totally different. The story is Allah. The sneeze come from Allah. The yawning come from Shaitan. And not only that, Shaitan even he pisses inside your mouth. Read carefully with me. <laughs> For when he says ah ah, a Shaitan laugh in, from inside his opening. And indeed, Allah love the sneeze, and He dislike the yawn. So when a man says ah ah when he yawning, indeed a shaitan love from inside his opening. So why the Shia? Why you Muslim Sunni laugh at the Shia speaking about the sneezing, but you don't laugh at the Muslim Sunni yourself, and your books saying such a stupid thing. So it, and we can say based on this study, Allah is excited in winter time. A lot of people have cold. <coughs> hmm? Right? A lot of Muslims, a lot of people have cold. Allah is, is so happy. So why you laugh at them? Hey, take it easy, take it easy, guys. What Hamida Sadiqi? Sadiqi. Sadiqi, Sadiqi. <laughs> Hamida Sadiqi. Anyway. Always the same fiction and stupidity is all over Sunni or Shia. They share the same garbage. There's no difference between them. Let us see this guy.
Hello, my friend. You tried to call me? Yeah, I was calling and my shake was about to talk to you. But, uh, oh, your shake want to call when I talk to me? Yeah. Okay, he's there now? No, I left. Oh, too bad. Well, when do you want to call me again? Because you are playing uh, the recording again. And uh, he was trying to like advise you to follow the real truth, Islam. Oh, really? He want to advise me? What is the real truth? Islam. Like what? Like, like if you sneeze, Allah, the sneeze is Allah. He loves sneezing. Is that the truth? Except Islam. And uh, yeah, what do you say about? Okay, let us see the truth. The truth is that Allah He loves sneezing. Do you agree with that? No. Listen. We're, no, we're no. no what, 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 what do you mean? No. Are you saying? Are you saying you're a prophet? He lied. The truth is, let your sheikh call me, and this is an excuse. He can call me from his home. I mean, what? What do you mean he left? So what if he's left? He can call me from his home. He don't have to be sitting next to you. Okay. He can call, call me, back. huh? Okay, he would ask his shake to call me. Hold on, <laughs> he is asking me to accept the truth. The truth is, according to Islam, that Allah He loves sneezing and He hates those who do yawning. That is the only thing I see in front of me. Do you have something to prove me wrong? How this is, can be from God? If this is God, who is stupid? Let us see if his shake will call. <clears throat> his shake wanna call me to invite me to accept the truth. Yeah, and what is the truth? Allah will give me a lot of women and their legs will be, excuse me, wide open. The truth is Allah will give me endless penis. The truth is I will have 70 years orgasm. That is the truth. If this is the truth, what is fiction? Hmm? If this is the truth, <coughs> yeah, I think this is the same kid. Let us see. <laughs> Hello? Stupid idiot. This is Sadiqi, the one you told me to call to, to call him. He's making noise in the phone. Anyone will text me in Skype asking me questions, I will block you. You want to ask? Ask in the text in the chat. My Skype is over flooded. People, they keep asking me to add them. I have no more space. I said this is a Skype only for Muslims to call me. Do we have any Muslim have the courage and the knowledge? So the Sheikh Abdul Wadud is going to call me to invite me to accept the truth. And what is the truth? That in the heaven I can have sex with my sister and my daughter. In the heaven of Allah, I can have sex with everybody, whatever I wish. In the heaven of Allah, you are going to be an effing machine. And that is supposedly the truth. I mean, how? what kind of a truth this truth is? Is that really the truth? Do you remember when a Muslim he said that in the heaven of Allah there is no morality? Do you remember? Let me see if I can get the video.
it said that you can have sex with whatever you wish anyone you wish who care anything let me ask you let me ask you okay okay does the Quran say that in the heaven let us open it here in this page here hold on <clears throat> but the Shia and the Sunni they have the same garbage. I mean, why they are laughing at each other? Mm, yeah, the same. Okay, thing. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Okay, okay. Does the Quran say that in the heaven, in the heaven, you are going to have whatever you wish? Yes. Okay. If somebody wished to have sex with his mother in the heaven, is that going to be granted? It depends on the person. Okay, so you are saying to me, guys, did you hear it? If a man in the heaven of Allah, he wished to have sex with his mother, it's fine. He can have sex with his mother. Why you are saying it's okay? Uh, okay, according to who is, is it wrong in the heaven? Okay, I'm asking you according to, you said it's it's right. No problem. I'm not saying wrong or right. I'm asking you. It's what is the so, wisdom? What is the so wisdom? Okay. What is the wisdom in your religion that in the heaven you can have sex with your mother? In the heaven, you can. You, Allah will give you what you, whatever you want. If you want it, this is your your, your business. So okay. So in, in in the heaven of Allah, if somebody he is a gay, he's a homosexual, and he would have sex with men, is he going to be granted men to have sex with? My friend, Allah, He says you will get whatever you want. He didn't go to the details. My friend, that's this it. I got you. I got you. So so in the heaven of Allah, in the heaven of Allah. Hmm? In the heaven of Allah, you will have whatever you wish. A guy who is a gay, he like to have it bang bang from the wrong location. You know what I'm talking about. Allah, He will grant him. Allah will give him. Allah will give him a gay to if uh, together. So your the the heaven of your God is uh, what is that? I mean, when we say whatever you wish, that's mean. So what the point of saying you cannot do this in earth, but you can do it. You can do it in heaven. Why Allah says that being a gay in earth is a big sin, but being a gay in heaven is okay. Do you know why? Why? Because this, because in the earth we it's it's a test. But after in the heaven there is no sin, there is nothing, there is no the day of judgment. So you will live here for for okay. forever. So in so the heaven of Allah, sin. in the heaven of Allah, you Muslims are a bunch of hippies. You are a bunch of hippies. You you have your penis in your hand and you go and you put your penis wherever you wish. Just what you are saying to me, right? Your mother, your sister, your daughter, your neighbor, your brother. You f everybody. This is what you are saying to me. There is no limitation. You f whoever in your my way. My friend, when Allah say you can have whatever you want, mm. if you want something, if you want to, if someone, mm. what, the, what if somebody? What, okay, hold on. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to insult my friend. Listen to me. Listen to me. What if a man? He, what if a man he wished to 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 f your prophet? Can I answer? Yes, sure. Go ahead. If you want to do anything to, to someone else, the person that you want to do it, he also he wants to. If he refuses, he you cannot do it. You know, hmm. because it depends on the two person. It doesn't you say that. Just do no, it you. doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It says whatever you wish, but, whatever you wish as okay. an individual, not ever uh, whatever you wish, and you know whatever you wish. But okay. anyway, anyway, if a man, he, if a man, okay, if a man he wanted to have sex with your prophet, Allah, he said to him, whatever you wish. Is that okay? And the and the prophet also he have what he wish. Okay. And he so if the prophet the, the, you are saying to me, if your prophet agree that he will bend over the guy, he can do him. He there's no problem. He will, he will never agree because you, this is your. Uh, how you know? How you know? Your prophet he your prophet obviously he like he like men. Isn't it? Isn't it true that your prophet he put uh, eyeliner three times a day? My friend, this is your assumption. How I you am not assumption. I can show you the reference. Is it true? Is it true that you're a prophet? He kiss a man down his belly. We are talking about earth. If he is doing that in earth, why he will not do that in heaven? Hello, Abdul. Hello, Abdul. Sheikh Abdul with us. I'm Abdullah. You're Abdul. I don't man. What is uh, Sheikh uh, Sheikh Abdul doing with me? 
No, he's not. So what is your shake? My shake, he's on, he, he's on vacation right now. Uh, he decided to quit his job after he debated me? No, no, because he, he, he doesn't want to debate uh, Jahid, you know? Oh, Jahil, uh, Jahil, he could not answer anything. Everybody was laughing. Everybody was dying from laughing. Okay, what about your answer? What he could not answer? Okay. Okay. Do, do you remember when I said to him, "Are you going to ask me about uh, Aisha?" And he said, "There's no such a thing." Aisha, she said that there is a hadith about the breastfeeding, and he said, "There's no such a thing." Do you agree with him? There's no such a thing. So, in order to understand the history of hadith, right? If you know that. Hmm. That there are some hadiths that are accepted by all the scholars, and there's some hadiths. If you look at the commentary, don't play games. Uh, don't play games. Don't tell me uh, accepted by accepted. This is hadith. Not this it's is not a, games. those that, that, the, the, hold on. The the breastfeeding for adult is accepted by all the scholars of Islam. It's a lie. Not a single one refuse it. Isn't it your sheikh is a Sunni? He's a Sunni, of so course. So how I'm he not, can reject you're, 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 listen, it? Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. I want to. I want to ask you. Can you show me one scholar he reject what your prophet he said to Sahla bin to Suhail? I didn't say reject. Said, There's no rejection. So don't lie then. Don't lie. Don't lie then go, and go say. Go to the commentary of Sahih Muslim. Go uh -huh. commentary of Sahih Muslim. Hmm. What commentary? And we, hold on. Commentary. What commentary? Okay, commentary. commentary. What commentary? Muslim. Here we go. This is this is Sahih Muslim. This is the Hadith. Okay. It's accepted by all Muslims and the women she said to him how I can suck at him and he's a growing man <laughs> Right, so this those, is your prophet foster Foster what foster? foster what foster when a, when, when you have foster child, right? My friend if this is a guy. This time. is a man. This is a man. What a child. It's a guy. He is an adult He is not even her son this is a man. He is a. He is a. He is a slave. He is a. He is a slave in her house. Listen. She said. She said. How I can read? Hold on. Read. Look at the screen. She said. How can I suckle him? And he is a growing man. What do you mean, foster child? Like you, you were mentioning yesterday, the times, right? If a person suckles on a uh, on the breast of a woman, right? Mm. Even only once, that relationship is gone, forever. What he relation? can never marry that girl again. In his That's life. false. No, you can marry even if this guy here who suckled her ten time, he can marry her. This is a lie. The 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 no, it's, not. no it's a lie. The forbidden. <laughs> you see, you are a kid. The for the forbidden. Not a lie. Read. Okay. Do you, you, gotta, you gotta what? Do your okay. A little more. Okay. Hold on. Oh, okay. What if I show you that you are stupid? What you will do? If I show you the proof and the reference right now. <laughs> You're going references. I'm asking online. you if I show you that you are stupid, what you will do? People are watching. You are People are watching. I if I show you that you are lying and you are being a stupid donkey who do not know what are you talking about, you claim that you have a shake, your shake got busted, and you run away. Now, you you think you can shake do better? No, or listen, busted, listen. Man. Here we go. You say that if he suckle, he cannot marry her. If I show you that this is a lie, what you will do? Is a lie? What you would do? Yes, I will not because the thing is, listen, we don't take we don't take uh, advices from coffers, you know that, right? You will not take it from me. I will show it to you from your scholar, you donkey. The donkey, <laughs> you, even if you read it from my scholar, I'm not going to take. It. Just get, even if you read it for me from my scholar, I will not take it. <laughs> and I know your answer, you stupid idiot. Hmm? I know the answer. <clears throat> Here we go. This is islamweb.net, and this is your scholar, and you are a certified donkey. The Haba al Jumhur, the major, the, the scholars, all of the four Imam sect, and even others, that Rida al Kabir, the second for adult, will not make it haram. <laughs> Which means you can still marry the women. So what the point? What the point of the stupidity? Nothing. And not only that, here they are quoting for you what it says that Aisha herself, she used to order her sisters 
to do that. Only, only, according to Islam, breastfeeding for a child will make it a relationship between this child and that woman haram. By the way, here this is stupid too, because how Islam refuse adoption and accept adoption? How in the world, if a, a child he suckle a milk of a woman, he became her son? This is adoption. So if a child he suckle a, a, or he he. A, he drink uh, some milk from a cow. He became the son of that cow. According to Muslim too, that Muhammad himself, he suckled his uncle nipples. So as you see here, when they try to run away, he and his sheikh, the sheikh is in vacation. He told him, I'm not going to call this guy. He will humiliate me. We ask him to recite for us the verses of his of, of, of suckling of an adult. This is a verse on the Quran. This is not a hadith. The Quran confirm that many verses are missing, and the hadith confirm that there's many verses are missing. And Aisha she confirm, and we asked uh, we asked the Sheikh who claimed to be a Sheikh. That when Aisha she said the breastfeeding for adult. He said, there's no such a thing. I said, are you saying that Aisha, she's a liar? And then he said to me, you have too many questions. We will ask you, ask, you know, we have to sit together. He ran away. Hmm? Let us see. I'm trying to find you some reference additional to that. So we have this one here. Let us do this. <clears throat> we take this, we paste in the search. Let's see. Do you see it? Those verses, those hadith, they confirm the story. And Aisha, she ordered her sisters and her nieces to do suckling for any man who will enter upon them. Let us see. <clears throat> Let us see the hadith about Aisha ordering her sister, nieces, and her sisters to do breastfeeding. I mean, obviously, this guy, Muhammad, he has mental issues. There's no way uh, somebody have a little intelligence, he will ask people to do such a thing. Let us see. <clears throat> or oh, look at this hadith here. Look at this stupid hadith. Aisha brother and I, this, this uh, uh, Aisha brother, and she have a guy who is a stranger. I went to Aisha and he asked her about a bath, how to take a bath. I mean, Aisha, she is teaching two men how to, ta how to take a bath. She brought a pot contain, con containing about, uh, uh, you know, like uh, water and took a bath and poured over her or overhead 
and at that time there was a screen between them but the screen they can see through because she is teaching them how to do it otherwise if they can't see what the point <laughs> I mean have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this let us see <clears throat> Let us see different hadith. There we go. Hold on. Aisha here it says <clears throat> uh, Aisha used to ask the daughters of her sisters and daughters of her brothers to give him breastfeeding five times whom Aisha wanted to see who want to visit her and they say that the Quran, the verse of a stone of, uh, of ten time breastfeeding was abrogated by five. But we cannot find the five, we can't find the ten. Obviously, the Muslim took it. Because it's a shameful one. Somebody obviously took it. We cannot find the ten, we cannot find the five. Why? You know, the first time they play the game that this is the goat. But then that will not work no more. <clears throat> Read this hadith with me. Yahya related to me from Malik, from, 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 etc. It says that Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, Allah pray on her and salute her, admitted those whom her sister and daughters of her uh, a brother had nursed and she did not admit those who were nursed by the wives of her brothers <laughs> oh boy <clears throat> what a religion and since when, if a man he is looking in a dirty way at a woman, if the woman she gave her breast to him, he will not look at her in a dirty way no more. That's mean if a man he put his mouth in the nipples of his wife, and by the way, they are suckling nothing. Those women, this woman, she doesn't have a milk. This is this is this is not a child. This is not the woman she have, you know, he's saying to her, suckle him. No, suckle just her breast. There's no milk. So he was suckling what? That's her, that's, that's her nipples. Suckling the nipples, how that can be from God? Don't call me if you are a Christian. <clears throat> And the funny, the Shia, they make fun of the Sunni, and the Sunni makes fun of the Shia, but both of them, they have the same madness. And this is Quran. Anyway, guys, we are going to finish for today. This video, I will hide it for some time, because usually, uh, which means for a few hours, maybe until tomorrow, usually when I make a video, two videos in the same day, people watch only the last video. So the video before it, nobody watch it. You know what I mean? So what we will do, this video, we will be, make it in a private until the uh, the other video have enough of you, and then we will put that again live on air. So you can download it. Actually, I will leave this one for two hours live, so those who want to download, they can download it too. All right? But the Shia stories, we can continue. I mean, there's endless, like uh, the hadith about if you wear a black shoe, your penis will not work. Uh, uh, you know, if you sleep in your side uh, uh, in the bathroom, that will make your kidney damage. 
your 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 kidney will uh, will be like disappear uh, you know uh, or the hadith about uh, that uh, noah he used to have a donkey and he put his hand over his uh, uh, his shoulder and then he said from this donkey there is going to be 60 donkeys uh, uh, which one of them will be righted by the prophet, the 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 leader of the prophets, which means Muhammad. Um, you know, tons of stories. It's endless. But my friend, uh, uh, or Al Hassan, Al Hassan, how many languages Al Hassan yet uh, he speak? Al Hassan, he speak seventeen million language. Have you ever heard of somebody can speak seven? And where where we can find those seventeen million language? 17 million language I mean obviously this is true right it must be true right? there's no way it's a lie let, let us show you this one before we go a shaykh kilani very number one hadith number or page number 462 the book of al-kafi shia book this this is equal to al-bukhari it says, <clears throat> um, here we go. Allah have two cities. One of them is in the east and the other one is in the west. And it has, those cities, have a fence made from uh, iron. And from every, and, uh, and every city have a thousand thousand uh, uh, a door and in it inside it there is a thousand thousand language and each language speak in the other language of the other one which means they are different from each other and he says I know all the languages there so how many languages now we have hold on this is not 70,000 sorry I'm mistaken it says 70,000 thousand that means 70 million right so yeah 70 million 70 million a thousand thousand is a you know, 70 million language in the cities and he speak them all this is what al hassan can speak and he said nobody speak such a languages as much except me and my brother al hussein <laughs> this is shia so they have the same garbage they, you know it's endless stupidity 70 million language there is 70 million language i want to see them who is the muslim shia i want to count for us the 70 million languages and this guy he speak them all right <clears throat> uh, maybe next time we go on air we can we can continue speaking about shia but you know it's it's endless it's stupid stories endless all right so anyway guys i want to say thank you for being here and there we go on air again i want to say thank you don't forget to share download the videos and the video before this one is a lot important than this one please download it it's short it's 15 minutes something like that download and share with your friends and let us spread the truth and the truth was will set you free and as you see the sheikh of uh, abdul wadud um, he have no answer and that's why he will never call again. There's no way he will call me I think this guy he was playing Taqiyya that the sheikh he wanted to call me. There's no way he can call me always You know and here we go time will tell I don't think he will ever dare to call again Because there's tons of questions. They are very embarrassing and he could not answer anything And he will never answer it the same as this guy, you know, this is the only thing they say to you. Oh, uh uh, uh, you know, they fabricate stories. It's not even in their religion. They fabricate excuses. Is not even part of Islam. They have, you know, in uh, in order to avoid the shame which Islam brought to them and Muhammad. So what they do? They fabricate lies in order to cover the lies of Muhammad. But it doesn't work with us. So until we see you again, we say may the Lord bless you all. And we hope that the Muslims will listen. And for sure we don't hate them we are trying to save you from this cult which is full of lies and stupidity and you have a brain and you make a decision and the decision is yours either you 
believe in a fiction prophet full of fairy tale stories book stupidity and madness sexuality or you believe in the true God it's up to you thank you for being here may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord and Islam is false and see you soon again bye bye